Good morning from South Africa, my crafty friends. I hope you're having an awesome day and I'm sure you're going to enjoy this tutorial. So using scraps and a little bit of beautiful hand painted or hand technique backgrounds that were given to me by a happy male friend, Sula Clitter, I'm going to create some little ATCs. Now, somebody asked me recently, why do we create ATCs and they're a bit of a waste? Actually, this is to practice with the metal tape and the copper so that you get confident with the different techniques and then you can therefore use it on a bigger project. So, um, using Sula's backgrounds, I've already prepped three little ATC and you can see uh, the cards that she sent me were a little bit bigger than, than an ATC size. So, I just trimmed them down. I'm going to trim this one as well. I just thought I'd keep this for you to see. Remember, it's six and a half centimeters by nine is the size of an artist trading card. Okay, so there are three little ATC prepared, and I'm going to put those aside just so you can see how my mind works. Um, these were the scraps of the of the ones that I trimmed. You can see there's a few little scraps. And I thought actually, you know, we can always use the scraps for something else. Um, so let us see what we can do. I thought of doing this so that it's in the opposite. You know, these are vertical and this would be horizontal. But then I actually thought uh, it'll be nicer to do it on a, on a white card because it just stands out so much nicer, don't you think? So look at that. I'm using the little scraps. And then I thought to myself, actually, that looks so plain. Um, it is quite bright, but I really wanted it to pop up a little bit more. So what I then did was I used a bit of this pretty paper that I was given. And I covered an ATC for you. And I thought, let's have a look how that looks. And it's actually much prettier, don't you agree? So I'm going to stick, whoopsie, I'm going to stick the remnants that you would have thrown in the bin. Just a little bit of glue stick. Whoopsie. And make a pretty background for who knows what. I often make background cards with, with what I have left over and um, sometimes inf inspiration to use that background card only comes much later but we'll, we'll just see where this goes. There we have three little pieces and I think we need a little bit more because three little pieces don't look great. So I'm looking at these beautiful ATC that I've covered and I kind of think that these two are my favorite. I'm going to cut a few strips out of this one. And I'm cutting in different sizes. Yeah, I know a lot of the crafters are now very busy using the jelly plates or jelly prints, which are amazing, but I'm afraid that's not a, a rabbit hole that I will be going down very soon. Okay, so now we have really used the scraps that we had on our table from these two little ATC that I prepped. I'm going to trim it from the back. The other thing is that Sula uh, prepped her backgrounds on some scrap card that she had, but I find it really light. So I am going to mount it onto a thicker card just to give my ATC a little bit more um, body, if that makes sense to you. 
So you will put those on there. Plastic glue is nearly finished. Sorry girls, I'm just looking for my lappy. My international friends, a lappy is a cloth in Afrikaans. Okay, I'm going to stick this under my mat just so that it can glue nicely. And glue this one. Get too much glue on my craft mat here. That's why I'm lifting it up. Okay. And stick this one down. Okie dokie. Okay. So while that is drying under my craft mat, I found these lovely little card stock um, die cuts of Christmas trees. I know Christmas is far away, but I thought, well, let's use what we have and, and we will try and create something different. And in, in response to everyone's Christmas in July last year, not last year, last month, we'll do Christmas prep in August. Oh my word, it's sticking to my hand. Probably better to use some wet glue and I think I must do that because this is getting all over my hands. Get some wet glue here. Because now you can see how, much, how glued my fingers are. I just need to wipe them quickly girls and guys. Fingers are all glued up. Not a good idea to use stick glue. All I'm doing here is gluing these lovely little trees, Christmas trees, onto this pretty paper that I have. And this one. So I struggled with these uh, little um, bottles and the nibs kept getting blocked and blocked and then I'd have to put them in boiling water and soak them and they just really irritated me so much. And then I discovered a trick because I was using a stainless steel pin. If I saw them upside down, they don't seem to block. So after all these years, that's what I've discovered works for me. Great way to use your scrapped scrap paper with designs on it. Or sometimes you have a, a paper that's not so pretty. Then you can use it behind your intricate die cuts. My fingers are still a bit gluey. that out. I think these two trees will be much nicer than the first one that I cut out um, because you can see a lot more of the paper um, behind the die cut. Now there's a little bit of a droning voice in the background. That is not a television. I think the school nearby is having its sports day. So it's a loudspeaker in case you're wondering what that noise is. And they've been busy since early this morning. So can't keep postponing. Here we go. Okay. 
and here we go. Okay, so you can use any die cut that you want, but I suggest that it's something with um, not too fussy edges, in other words, straight edges or something similar, because it's just easier to fussy cut around them once you've glued the die cut to your paper. Okay, let's rescue these and see what we can do with them. So, first of all, I want to make sure that all of them are the same size. They are nicely trimmed. And yes, I have three ATC here. And there you go. There you go. And there you go. How cute are those? But something's kind of missing. And I am just quickly looking. Sorry, guys. I have this little ink, um, distress ink, and I am going to ink the edges of my of my trees, just so that they're not so starkly white. I think this finishes it off a bit, you can see. so sweet and it's amazing for me how the colors of Sula's background and the colors of the paper actually match so well now what I'm going to do is glue the little trees onto the card what you what you can do for Christmas is actually make these into gift tags so unfortunately we haven't been able to trade uh, artist trading cards in South Africa we haven't been able to trade internationally or even locally because our postal system has absolutely collapsed at the moment we're still waiting in anticipation for things to change but basically the last five months we haven't really received any mail and mail that we posted in March has not even um, arrived at its destination internationally so it's quite disheartening but I was speaking to a fellow ATC creator and we decided we're going to start art abandonment locally and just spread some joy so if there's any South African people watching what do you think should we have some art abandonment in South Africa so there's three cute little um, little cards that we've made but now we would like to I don't know make them pop a bit what do you think because they seem to be really beautiful, but we can add something extra. Sorry about that. I had to just take my jacket off, getting a bit hot. So I thought, let's use a bit of glitter and it really helps to have a, a fine nibbed glue bottle for this otherwise it doesn't really work so well and I'm going to pour a little glitter on here if I can open the lid aside 
and here. I love adding little bits of interest where somebody will receive a, a card from me and they go like, how did she do that? I'm randomly uh, adding a little bit of glue in some of these small cutout circles. So not all of them. And I see that this one's got a bubble in it. There you go. I'm just using my toothpick. Okay, I think that's enough with this one. And I'm afraid the bottle's irritating me. I really want to make sure I've got a, a good coverage of glitter. So I prefer to pour it and I'll put that aside. And then this one is a bit more difficult because um, we haven't got such great areas to to mark so carefully I'm going to just put a bit of glue on some of these lines and to me it'll look like there's tinsel around the tree and what I've done is I've only gone in one direction, if you can see. Okay, that's fine. And a little bit of glitter here. Or should I say a lot of glitter? What I'd like to do with the glitter is um, get a piece of paper here. If I can find a piece of paper in my mess. Now you can see there's a little bit of glitter around the areas, but I'm going to leave it like it is for uh, a few hours to dry properly and then I will take a old brush, paintbrush, and wipe off the rest. But look how cute those are. Really came out. better than expected and um, I obviously have a photo on the tutorial of how they looked at the end of the day but very cute touch of copper waste and some card and some pretty backgrounds created on a jelly plate by Sula so I hope you enjoyed that and looking forward to what you can create grab your glitter and get going